My name is Christina and I work with One Health, a holistic approach to health and sustainability grounded in scientific understanding of the interconnections between human, animal, and environmental health. One Health has been around for many years, but as Victor Hugo said, nothing is more powerful than an idea whose time has come. In a world transformed by COVID-19, we've awoken to the need to do things differently. Sicknesses originate in wildlife and transmit between animals and humans. The pressure we exert on wildlife habitats exacerbates this risk and jeopardizes the diversity of life that our ecosystems contain. This compromises, among other things, our discovery of new medicines, which is especially concerning given that many of the medicines that we currently depend on are increasingly ineffective. A crisis known as antimicrobial resistance, driven by overuse among not only humans, but also livestock and even plants, as we struggle to feed the increasingly hungry and food insecure world. Pandemics, antimicrobial resistance, food insecurity, biodiversity loss and climate change, these are unprecedentedly complex, interlinked and rapidly escalating global health and sustainability challenges. They surpass the scientific expertise of any single discipline. They exceed the mandate of any one sector or governmental ministry. They threaten us all. Join me on a One Health journey as we come to understand the human, animal, environment interconnections that underpin these challenges as well as their solutions. Hi, Christina. Hi, Carlos. Hi, kids. Hi. We were just out enjoying the beach today and talking about how important the health of our oceans is. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely, and, uh, and you're right. They are super important. I mean, this is a unique environment, a unique ecosystem. It's most of our planet. Plants, fish, algae, sea mammals, the biodiversity that the oceans inhold are central for us. And as we are more and more of us here on the planet, we need, for example, more food the oceans can provide. We might need new drugs as antimicrobial resistance develops, the ocean can provide. We have energy, we have so many resources in this unique ecosystem. And even if you think about economy, look at our fjords and the tourism industry that depends on the oceans. And at least for me and, and perhaps for the kids in the summer, when we are tired from work and we want to de-stress a little, the oceans give us that chance for a nice dip. So yeah, the oceans are central. Are we at risk of losing any of this? Unfortunately, we are, perhaps now more than ever. And we don't need to think very far to, uh, to illustrate this. Think about pollution, sewages from both us and livestock going in the water. Think about uh, plastics toxic things on the water. But all let's not forget about climate change and how that impacts our oceans. It's not just about glaciers melting down. It's about new uh, infectious diseases going on the water. It's about invasive species. You know, we have the Pacific oysters just along our coasts. Um, it's about so many changes. It's about us also, unfortunately, harvesting these resources too quickly. And if we don't do fisheries right, and if we don't do aquaculture in a sustainable way, we put all this at threat. And uh, here in Norway, we are very strongly focused in being on the front of the United Nations oceans decades. So if we want to lead the way, we definitely need to take care of this environment, which affects you, me, everyone. So it is One Health and it is under threat. Absolutely, Carlos. Thanks so much for explaining all of that. We sure are going to keep getting out here as often as possible, and we're going to do everything we can to take care of our oceans. Thanks a lot, Christina. Let's go. Hi, Christina. Hi. So here we are at this beautiful farm in Maridalen outside of Oslo. But there are no food producing animals here like sheep, cattle or pigs. Ingvild, can you tell us why? Yeah, and the reason is the big lake that you probably observed on your way here a bit further down the valley. That lake is actually the main drinking water resource for the population in Oslo. 
So we know that animals can carry different microorganisms in their intestines that may cause disease in us humans if they are transmitted to us through contaminated food and water. And that's why we need to restrict the number of animals in the catchment area of the lake to protect the drinking water quality for Oslo's population. I see. So what else do food systems have to do with human-animal environment interconnections? Food systems are implicated in a number of urgent global health and sustainability challenges. Foodborne diseases are a major cause of uh, death and disabilities in the world, and we're all threatened by resistance to antimicrobials arising for the use and overuse of antimicrobial drugs to both humans and animals. And we know that both uh, food insecurity and hunger are arising, while at the same time about one third of all the food we produce each year is lost or wasted. Another challenge is the conversion of land to grow crops and provide pasture, which causes deforestation and loss of habitats for wild animals. And this is one of the main risk factors for the emergence of new infectious diseases and new pandemics. Oof. So can One Health help? Yes, One Health can help us. One Health can help us understanding uh, the human, animal, environmental interconnectedness, which is at the heart of our food systems. And One Health, health can then help us uh, feed the world in ways that are both sustainable, healthy and equitable. That sounds wonderful. Thank you so much, Ingvild. Thank you, Christina. <laughs>
Globalization and urbanization are reality, and in that sense also warm health. I see the need to connect all of you, to connect people and knowledge, sectors and disciplines. One Health Norway aspires to be exactly this platform for collaboration and networking, a place where scientists, private sector actors, policymakers and government agencies can exchange knowledge and experience, negotiate priorities and together conceive integrated solutions for the challenges that impact us all. This can help Norway to fulfill its commitment to global health and sustainability agendas and to our next generation. This can help Norway to be a country where all of us, people, animals, plants, and pristine ecosystems can live and thrive as one in one healthy socio-ecological system.